Hello and welcome to this mod review of the fuel tank and workshop. One thing that you will need, one mod that you will need with this is the toolbox um, mod which you can also find in the same place which is trailers miscellaneous. So if you just scroll through that we will eventually get to the there we go, the lizard TT3 fuel tank, fuel tank, and workshop, and that's uh, by JD Modding ARG. JD Modding ARG. So basically, it's a fuel tank which you can put behind any vehicle, take it out to your field, and service your vehicles in in the field. Looks almost retro. Love the look of it. Love the color, although you can change the color a limited but fair selection of different colors you can even have shocking pink if you really want we will get this back to the very nice retro red there we go it looks good especially with the white decals the wheel setup is standard which is normal wheels and then um, slightly chunkier off-road wheels is standard too. With the change in wheels it came to just over 20 grand so not cheap but reasonable 20,500 and there it is in its glory. Now I have um, I am using my Alma map from my Alma series well, we're well in the way to it's a very developed farm. We are busy doing some some harvesting, so I've got quite a bit of machinery in the field at the moment. So I thought this was a good little map to do the review on. So I've got it hitched up to the gate hall. It's the 50 mile an hour version, so top of the range but it's pulling it very very easily now right at the beginning I did mention that you would need to have the toolbox mod which we already have I was just putting it on the back of the gate and taking it out to the fields let's have a quick look at this as we open it up as you can see the tanks in the inside the fuel tanks and then all the bits and pieces that you would need, oils, a bit of welding equipment, some jerry cans, a generator, all sorts of drills and presses, oils, fantastic, looks great, looks absolutely fantastic. So what you do is you take your toolbox and and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick this up in a different, in a slightly different way and you'll see why in a minute. So I want to grab it, grab it from the end, all on the end. And this fits very neatly into, as we get closer you'll see that there are some guidelines inside the trailer. As we get closer you'll see it, let's get it a little bit level. And there we go, you can see the yellow sort of tram lines if you want. If you just put the box in there, it will seat itself. Just drop it in there, and there we go, it seats itself. Just remember to have the orange clips facing towards the back because of course that's the way the toolbox works right so let's go and we'll just edge it on up to the to 
to our diesel pump and we'll fill it up. So it just fills up as per normal. Oh, yeah, I've just filled up the gate all, but uh, that's no problem. <laughs> just edge it forward a little bit and click refuel. And there we go. This should take uh, about 3,000 litres of diesel. Don't know what's going to leave, <laughs> what it's going to leave us in the tank afterwards, but we'll we'll sort that out at a later stage. It's the problem if you're doing a uh, a mod review on a live map, so to speak. There we go. Not the fastest to load, but that's not a serious problem. It's not the slowest either. We got 3,000 litres. Fold it all up. Animations are brilliant. And off we go. We take a drive out through this wonderful series that I have on the Alma, Missouri map. If you haven't had a look at it, it is getting towards the end of the series. Uh, I think we're in about 50, 52 or 53 episodes. It's worth a look. As you can see, I've got plenty of greenhouses, productions over here. We've been doing a major harvest. Still got some wheat to harvest. We've just finishing, finished harvesting canola on the map. And it pulls nicely. The gator handles this with ease. Oh, yeah, on, on the dirt tracks, um, 27, 28 miles an hour. It doesn't feel heavy on the on the gator at all. Of course, you can attach it to anything. Have a nice little uh, truck to pull it along. Put it behind it. A tractor, whatever you like. Right, so here we've got a combine and we've got two trailers. One's collecting straw, straw and one's collecting the product. And if we just park it up here, then we'll just play around a little with it, with it in servicing these three vehicles. Opens up looks good looks so good in the field I like this I like it a lot get the old big uh, licks on in it's got the biggest uh, header on got a lot a lot of harvesting to do right, so there you can see the orange tabs in front of the toolbox so uh, that's where it's going to activate so let's get it a bit closer. Just need to play around to find out exactly where your where your trigger points are. A little bit later, you'll see. Um, I'll um, play around a bit more with that, just to give you a feel for it. Maybe just stand in front here with the orange flaps facing out. There we go. You've got the Lexion and the. And the header, let's get those serviced. And that's just as per normal, as per any workshop. Works fantastically. Of course at the bottom you can see there's no painting, you can't paint again, so which makes sense. Fantastic. Gonna get those tractors out of the way and then we can find out where you can so let's just play around and see how close one needs to be to uh, to bring up the refueling parts or the refueling tab there you go refill harvester so we okay there it just goes off there so yeah so it's it's got a reasonable 
reasonable um, range or distance from the from the from the actual tank that you can bring the vehicles in. Didn't take too long to fill up. Looking good. Really is a good mod. Nice and detailed. Pretty immersive. Taking the stuff out, well, taking the uh, taking the workshop to the to the fields. Of course, there's lots of mods that do do that. There's lots of service vehicles mods. I kind of like this one. Just feels like you can have it parked there, and it's a mobile workshop, really. Well, that's what it is. It's a mobile workshop with re with refueling capabilities. I just want to see if we can get more than more than one vehicle into the workshop area. One set of vehicles. Let's have a look and see what we've got in here. So, so we've got the forage pickup trailer and the um, 8R John Deere. So it's just the one set. Let's see if we if we edge it forward a bit. Can we get the Fenton its trailer in as well? Let's have a look and see what we've got now. Yep, we've still got the 8R and the forage pickup. Go a little bit forward. There might be a sweet spot where they do come in, but this is just by way of. Now we've got the fin, but we don't have the John John Deere. So yeah, it may it may or may not. You may you may you may find a um, a sweet spot, but it's not going to be very big. That's not really a problem. Most most of the times you'll only be servicing one set of vehicles, and works perfectly. Fantastic. And we get that all sorted out, moved out of the way, and we're ready to work again. There we go, and the vehicle's that it's done. service this lot quickly first as well. As you can see this time it's a little bit to the other side of it so yeah it is there's enough sort of scope and area for you to work on the vehicles. All refueled. Fantastic. You can either Keep it back in the field, or we could take take it back to the farm, whichever you wanted to. Right, one thing I must mention is that if you do save your game and go out of the game and then restart, just open it up again there, you can see that the toolbox has disappeared, and that is the way the toolbox normally is. It normally resets to where it spawned. So all you need to do, or need to remember, is that you do need to take the work workshop back to the to the farm area, where your toolbox spawns at the end of every day. Well, it doesn't have to be at the end of every day, but that's what I would normally do. So we'll just head on back up to the farm. see this is a little bit late in the day we've harvested the the wheat still got some wheat in the center of the field which is still ripening that's a whole new story you'll have to watch the Alma series to find out what happened there <laughs> So all you do is just take your vehicle back to the farm 
back to wherever your toolbox resets. We should find the toolbox there. So we're holding our breath, aren't we? Is the toolbox going to be there? Of course it is. There it is. Right, and that's the Lizard TT3 Fuel Tank and Workshop by JDR Modding. Fantastic. I like it. I think it's got its place in just about every situation. Well, that's where we're going to end it. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this enjoyable and informative, please like and subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next one. Cheerio.